Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make some realistic looking smoke effects in Adobe Photoshop that you can use in a multitude of different ways. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just get started. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to open up a document and it can be either in CMYK or RGB and it can be any size. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll take a background layer and we'll press Control I on a keyboard to invert the colors so that it's a black background. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our Layers palette, and we'll go to our Add uh, New Layer button, and we're going to create a new layer. After that, we'll go over to our Tools palette, and we're going to select our Polygonal Lasso tool. If, uh, if it's not on the top, then you select your lasso, you click and hold down, and then you can select your Polygonal Lasso tool. Now what we'll do is we'll make pretty much any shape that you want, um, just kind of an abstract shape. Um, make maybe a few little arms on it something like this should be good then what we'll do is we'll uh, select a color, I've already chosen one, this light blue um, and we'll set it as our foreground color, we'll go up to edit down to fill and we'll select our, uh, our foreground color to, to use under contents and then we'll press OK and it should fill with that foreground color the next thing that we want to do is we'll go to our burn tool, we'll click and hold, and we'll select our dodge tool on our, uh, our tools palette. We're going to select a fairly hard brush, maybe around 85% uh, and a 38 pixel exposure. And what we'll do is we'll just go around the edge of this, and you can kind of see it lightens up a little bit. I have my uh, highlights set for the range up at the top. Just kind of going over this a little bit. These edges. I'm trying to leave a little bit of the area. And then the next thing that we'll do is we'll go back to our uh, our dodge tool. We'll click and hold, and we'll select the burn tool. And now we're going to go over our middle areas with the burn tool. We're going to just keep doing that. Looks like mid tone selected. We we'll, we'll probably want highlights selected for that as well. It's going to look pretty funny. We'll go back and select mid tones, and you can kind of just play with it a little bit. If you get something that looks kind of like this, that's fine. And then uh, now what I'll do is I'll select my marquee tool on the tools palette, and I'm going to deselect everything. So now you should have something that looks kind of like this. Um, it's very random, and it looks pretty horrible right now. But uh, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go up to Filter, um, to Distort, and we'll go to um, Wave. And then what we'll do is we're going to set our settings to 5, 10, 120, 5, 35, 100%, 100%, the type to sign, and our undefined areas should repeat edge pixels, and then we'll press OK. And then it'll look something like this. You can tell we're starting to get a little bit closer to where we want. All these areas are starting to overlap a little bit, and it's starting to look a little bit more like a smoky type figure. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is we'll go up to Edit, a fade wave. We're going to set that to 50% into normal. And then we'll press OK. And then what we'll do is we'll go back up to filter and we'll do our wave again. You can see that Control F do that. But we'll just kind of keep reapplying that and then the edit and fade wave we'll keep reapplying that 50% do it okay. And then we're just going to keep doing that. Control F, Control Shift F, 50%, okay. 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 And you can kind of just keep going until you think that it starts to look kind of a lot like smoke. 
And I think that this kind of does. Um, a lot of people can stop right here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to uh, completely finish it out and make it look like actual smoke. This is blue, of course, and in order to make it look white like real smoke, you would just go up to uh, Image, into Adjustments, do a Hue and Saturation adjustment, and just desaturate that layer. <clears throat> and now, it looks a lot more like smoke. Um, you can see that there are some kind of hard edges and stuff. And in order to soften those down, what we can simply do is go up to <clears throat> Filter, Blur, and do some sort of a Gaussian Blur or a Surface Blur. I'll just do a Gaussian Blur of about, uh, it looks like 1.2 is what I had selected before. And that looks pretty good. It just kind of softens everything and makes it look a lot more like smoke. And now what you can do is you can uh, take this layer and drop it over other images in Photoshop. Um, and and it should um, should should uh, be pretty dynamic in that way. You should be able to plop it down anywhere. And uh, and now you know how to make smoke in Photoshop from scratch. So I hope you learned something. Um, please subscribe to my blog. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks again.